What's up? It's Wills, back with more Miata Mods. Today, we're going to be finishing up the cooling system by installing a coolant reroute. First up, we got a thermostat spacer from Cobalt. This is a custom machine spacer designed to retain the factory coolant temp sensor position. It comes with gaskets, all the hardware you'll need. It has a port for an aftermarket coolant temp sensor, and it also has a port for the heater core. For the rear water neck, we went with a water neck from Ikea Cephia. For the front water neck block off, I went with this block off plate from Miata Source. And for the thermostat, I went with the OEM Mazda unit. And for the hose clamps, I went with these constant tension hose clamps from Mishimoto. And for the cool and rear route hose, we got this Gates hose, which is normally meant for a Chevy Silverado or a Tahoe. All right, let's go to the car and start off with taking off the rear water neck. To get to the rear coolant housing, we're gonna remove the spark plug wires and the coil pack. Then there's a 12 millimeter bolt on top and a 12 millimeter nut on the bottom, holding on the thermostat housing. For this coolant reroute, we're gonna have to take out this stud right there. Right, next up we're going to take off the oem coolant temp sensor it's a 19 millimeter and then we're going to transfer it onto the new coolant reroute well i broke the coolant temp sensor while taking it off but i guess a good thing since it's probably oem and it wasn't going to last much longer anyways Alright, next up let's go ahead and get this cooling reroute plate assembled. Pretty much if you're looking at it from the back of the car towards the front, this is where your heater pipe is going to go. This is where the stock coolant temp sensor is going to go. Here is a provision for an aftermarket water temp sensor. So this side, the very flat side is going to go towards the head. The side with the small indent this is where the thermostat's going to sit so since i'm running a street setup i'm still going to be running the heater core hose outlet i don't have an aftermarket water temp sensor so i'm going to be plugging that up for now in case i want to run it later hopefully this won't be too hard to take out for all the fittings i'm going to go ahead and use this high temp thread sealant from permatex Next up, let's go ahead and get these gaskets on. All right, so 
this is how it's going to go on on the back of the head this way is facing up so we're going to go ahead and get the thermostat get the hole right there facing up as well and then these gaskets are adhesive so they just stick right on all right so pretty nice holds the thermostat in place next up we're going to get our water neck that's from ikea and it's going to go facing the opposite direction of the heated core uh, pipe and for the bolts the longer bolt it's going to be the one on the bottom and then the shorter bolt will be on the top there it is that's the whole corner of your uh, housing put together so let's go ahead and get it in the car Get in the corner here. Try to take your time. Move real slow. is very tight and pretty much what I did to get my hand back in there was reach through right here and I was able to get my hand back there to tighten up the bolts so I was able to get the bolts up in here just barely enough room to, to fit a wrench so this whole area of my wiring harness is currently taken out of the car for you this might be a little bit of a tighter job if you still have all your wiring up in here. So just uh, make sure you do your back stretches and get real comfy because you're going to be back there for a while. we're gonna go ahead and replace the lower radiator hose as you can see the lower radiator hose has this big old gash in it and it's pretty deep so I figured I might as well get a new one don't want this to be something that could maybe on the side of the road the new one we got is from flying Miata they're both flying Miata hoses but I think this is a newer generation the curve is just a little bit different they also came with two constant torque hose clamps all right, so let's go out to the car and get this installed.
not gonna put a clamp on here quite yet. I might do a little bit more trimming. It's a pretty tight fit with my turbo intake. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like this, just in case I need to trim a little bit more. So if you're doing this installing your car, next thing you're gonna wanna do is put back your coil pack, put back the wires, fill up the coolant system and bleed it. And then you should be good to go. For now, I'm not gonna do that because there's still a bunch of stuff left to do in the engine bay before I can even start the car again. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it. All right, so that's all for this install. Next up on the build, we're gonna be tackling up this mess of a wiring harness. But if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you wanna keep following the build, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.